which is I'm part of the art culture and creative department, but, but together with my colleague Michael Lewis, we've been leading the phase of work to um, restore some of the principal spaces in Stratford Public Hall. As a culmination of multiple years of hard work during funding by the community, we've been on site here for about three months now, restoring the great two lifted principal spaces to create vibrant and dynamic spaces that are inclusive to the whole community. We're here on the mezzanine in the ballroom, which is the principal space in the hall where some of the works are ongoing at the minute. These include the renewal of the lighting installation, which um, features see, uh, lights at high level and also a series of track lights around the perimeter room to offer a dynamic and flexible lighting installation for different uses. As part of the work, we have proposed a new redecoration scheme. The scheme is sympathetic to both the historic fabric and a contemporary take on the original decorative scheme. Working with a fake concert, uh, members of the Friends of Stretford Public Hall and the local community, we have developed a number of potential decorative schemes utilising paint supplied by a local company. As part of the works, we've managed to incorporate the renewal of the existing heating installation in the ballroom. The scope of this work will include removal of the existing radiators and replacement with a more traditional floor standing radiator. We're now stood on the landing of the principal staircase where you can see that the opening has been reinstated. And um, we're also proposing a new fire curtain just above the opening so that in the event of the fire will come down to create two protected areas. We've created a new opening into the ballroom to create a new kitchenette servery in this space. Um, this will be um, kitted out with new fridges, glass washers, sinks um, and kitchen cupboards to create ultimate flexibility in terms of the refreshment servery. In here the bar will have a moving bar that will be able to pull, be pulled out and um, to be used at any space within the hall um, that will create um, added flexibility for the users. This um, kitchenette is then also replicated at the other end of the ballroom um, for use um, with multiple flexible events. Also in this area, we've designed a secondary pull-out bar which connects to the bar at the other end of the ballroom. This allows the bars to either be used separately during larger events or connected to form a single mega bar. Um, this area at this end can also be pushed away with a new sliding door, which will mean that the whole refreshment offer can be tucked away when not in use. Part of the scheme, uh, we're reordering the two storerooms that were originally in this position to create four new toilets, storage decks and storerooms. We're now stood in the new toilets area where installation of sanitary ware is progressing. To reduce the visual impact of the space on Chester Road, we've actually set the toilet, clo toilet cubicle closest to the window away, which creates a really interesting double height space. Above the toilets is a new storage deck area. This will be a space for uh, light storage for the friends of Stratford Public Hall to use. We're now in the escape corridor where a number of works are proposed. These include redecoration and also isolated repairs to the past work. In this space, we're also proposing to um, enlarge the exit door so that the occupancy numbers for the hall can be improved. Externally, works are currently progressing to connect the drainage to new toilets into the existing system. And outside here, we've also repaired two of the windows um, that face the uh, main crossroads here. Here in the ceremony room, we're proposing a new redecoration scheme and a new carpet. As you can see, we're currently looking at a number of potential colour schemes for this room. Also included is a complete replacement of the lighting installation. 